What's up, everybody? Hey, what's up? What's up? Beautiful, 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 beautiful morning it is. Hey, everybody. I'm on here, guys. A lot of times when y'all see my videos, y'all may see me driving or just very busy because that's basically the lifestyle that I lead. I lead a very, very busy life, um, period. Um, that's just how it is. That's how it's going to be. So I've adjusted to it, and I hope you all will forgive me. Um, for many of my videos being um, while I'm driving or whatever, but I want to get on here anyway and, you know, drop a few, this video real quick. Um, actually, I don't know how quick it's going to be. Guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell, you know, but subscribe to my YouTube channel and, you know, spread the word. I'm very well known as Fit Life with Ramona because I got my start really into the social media world um, with that title because I'm a health and fitness coach. I'm also a certified personal trainer and lifestyle coach. And um, I got my start there. If you guys want to know a little bit more about how that start take, has taken place, go ahead and visit me on Facebook, um, Fit Life with Ramona, on Facebook at Fit Life with Ramona. But it is a grand and beautiful rising, guys. Grand morning to all of the kings and queens out here. So I'm just getting on here to, you know, give a quick message to those who still do not believe in higher energies or higher forces that can and will work with you if you are worthy. If you are worthy and you put in the work, you know. Now, I don't want everybody to get this twisted with, okay, even if you are evil, what they what they call evil, or a negative person that you cannot work with certain energies because you absolutely can. But with that, you know, if you're working and with those type of forces, you will have uh, repercussions to that. I'm just going to say that. So please know what you are doing. Uh, me personally, I'm working on my spiritual journey um, to become more enlightened with the things that are around me, the possibilities that I know exist, um, to become one, more of one with the universe, to be in tune and stay grounded. You know what I mean? And stay grounded. Um, I'm going to say that I've always had an inkling of a higher spirituality, um, but a lot of times, like most people, like a lot of people actually, we let that go because of society and how we grow up and how we tend to view and look at things and also what other people may think of what it is that you're into. You know, you don't want to get put into that um, category of weirdos. <laughs> that person's weird or that person's crazy and all of that stuff like that, you know. Y'all pretty much know how it go, um, but you know, it comes to a certain point in your life where you just don't care. I happen to be, I mean, I happen to have like a light bulb go off when I was turning 44. I'm 44 now, um, and I know there's a big significance to the number four and 444 and all of those different things like that. And um, just so happens that for some reason last year in November, I just, my eyes just became so wide awake. Y'all, I got to merge. And these people do not be wanting you to get over. I don't know why they act like that, but they do. They just do. So I'm going to merge on over and mosey on over and mind my business. <laughs> but um, as this, as I go on, guys, you will start to see a lot of different variety of things that I do. Because I take care, I believe in the temple. And a lot of people think the temple is a building, uh, four walls with bricks or mortar or whatever you want to call it. Hey, <laughs> but really your temple is you, you know, if you interpret that the right way, the temple is you, you are the temple. And so with that being said, I more take my spiritual awakening and evolving from that point of view. You know, I include everything when it comes to evolving, advancing, connecting, whatever you want to call it. 
you know, a lot of people disregard all the other elements when it comes to their temple, all of the other structures that's absolutely needed when it comes to their temple. You know, we're always saying, you know, you have to evolve. If you want to go off of the chakras, there's different levels to this. Um, there's some more physical levels than others. So when I look at being fit, you know, I'm, I'm really thinking or knowing now, that's why I got the start and really wanting to take care of the temple first. Because when your temple is in tune, or when your temple, your body, mind, and everything is grounded, you will begin to advance and evolve quicker than others. You'll be able to connect to the universe and know what it is that you're supposed to know. Get the message out of things that you're supposed to get the message out of. And so I take it from that structure, you know, and I do know that everyone will not agree with me, but that's fine too, because we are all on our individual journeys, you know. I think that's where a lot of bickering starts to happen amongst us as everyone thinks that there's only one way to go about things and that one way is the one way and that's the only way and that's so not true that is so not true you guys are turning into turning it into a man-made religion when you look at it like oh it's only you can only do it this way this is the only way to do it and if you do it that way you're wrong we shouldn't be looking at things that way because that's wrong, you know. There's no one particular way to doing things. I'm going to adjust this. It seems like it moved. There's no one particular way of doing anything. Again, we are all on our individual journeys. So, I take it from that point of view, you know. I work with people along with working with myself because you have to work with yourself first and truly understand that... <clears throat> What you're doing is real. What you're doing, you have to be, your heart has to be into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your mind has to be into it. And all of those things, you know, you can't just be doing something and then expect. You can't, basically, you can't expect something from nothing. You can't expect something from nothing, y'all. I got to get some water. I'm getting better. I've been sick for a while. Um getting over that and everything I had to take some time out to take care of me you know rejuvenate I had to re is it rejuvenate rejuvenate <laughs> so I take it from that point of view but I'm getting on here to tell you guys if you're doing things right and you're paying attention to the things you're supposed to be paying attention to and you're grounding yourself I am here to witness that the signs, the universe does communicate with you. The universe does hear you. The spirits, your spirit guides does hear you because you'll have different things to start to happen to you. But you have to be paying attention to them. And it's not nothing spooky or anything like that. You really have to be paying attention to them, you know. A lot of people don't pay attention to them, you know. I've been well alert, you know, having the necessary tools. And guys, I'm going to say this. The main tool that you need to have is yourself. You are the main tool, okay? You are the main tool. You know how people tell you to put your intentions into the candles or the spells or the baths and all of that? The crystals, you have to put your intentions inside of yourself first and you have to believe that and you have to build on that each and every day not saying that you're going to go around always being hoo -hoo -hoo, positive not cursing not doing this no because that's not a reality that's trying to live up to somebody else's standards you know i don't have a problem with anybody's language or anything if i don't like it that's that's my issue i don't like it because that is it doesn't mean i have to have that type of person around me but I am not judging anybody if they choose to live a certain way that's them that's their again individual journey but on this path that I am living and I am living it I really cannot ignore the signs meanings and messages that's coming to me 
um, as of late. I mean, the number of sequences that I keep singing every day. Um, out of the blue, things happening. Out of the blue, <coughs> producing money. Manifesting, I should say manifesting, not producing. Manifesting money that's needed. Out of the blue, working with my spirit guides and my ancestors, both known and unknown, because yes, I do. Some people are so against working with altars that it really does, I don't understand it because the church, mosque, whatever you want to call it that they go to, um, every Sunday has an altar, has more than one altar in it, but if you want to put an altar up in your home, all of a sudden there's a problem with it or you worship in something you ain't got no business before they even ask questions. You should ask, always ask questions before you just assume because we all know what assuming means, really, right? Um, so, you know, the sequences and the signs and messages that I've been getting, the dreams that I've been having, I know it is truly because I have been evolving and working on me, truly working on me, working on my tool again, which is myself. I am my temple. I am my tool. And so by me doing this, and I've, I, I absolutely love doing this, I feel more grounded. I just feel more at peace, more balanced, more all of that. I just feel great. And the things that's been happening all of a sudden, working with my ancestors, talk, talking to my spirit guides, you know, talking to my ancestors again, both known and unknown. They talk back. They, they, they speak back. They give you signs. They give you messages. They give you things out of the blue. You guys may not believe this. Um, some people might be like, that's spooky. She crazy. Uh, she lost her mind. No, I haven't. I found it my mind I have truly found my mind and believe it or not if you are doing things right your spirit guides your ancestors both known and unknown will give you things seriously give you things to let you know that I heard you my child I'm with you my child I'm protecting you and I am guiding you you have to believe in that you have to work on yourself you have to ground yourself. You are your biggest tool. Whoever told you that it's wrong to have an altar that's dedicated to your ancestors, say your mom or parents or grandparents has passed away, and if you have an altar dedicated to them and you sit in front of it and you meditate in front of it and you talk to them, if someone told you that that's wrong, why? because you do it about Jesus Christ, Muhammad, Buddha, whoever, all the time. But when it comes to your very own flesh and blood, something's wrong with that. Yeah, something is wrong with that for thinking something's wrong with that because nothing's wrong with that at all. And doing this has really, really changed my life. You know, my ancestors even the known and some unknown, I really don't know a lot about them, but there's a way to go about doing that as well. You know, you can still set up an altar and pretty much cover everyone in your bloodline and be okay with it. You know, there's pretty much a way to do that um, without knowing everybody's names because that's really impossible to know everybody's name or even have a picture of them or have an item or article or something of them. That's really impossible, but there's a way you can do that. And you should not be afraid to do that. So people need to just really get out of thinking what they call ordinary. Get out of that box thinking. You know, so many of us are living in the matrix. So many of us are living in a matrix. And while I'm on that topic, on this topic, you know, a lot of people feel as if, again, this is their opinions, that when you are truly on your spiritual journey, that you don't believe in makeup no more. You don't believe in, you know, certain hairstyles. You don't believe in doing things a certain way to each his own. 
again, we are not here to judge those people to each his own. You know, if you want to wear makeup, if you want to wear extensions, if you want to do all of these different things, that is your journey. You can do what you want to do, but we are not here to judge each other. We are not here to lash out at each other because what you do is what you do and what they do is what they do. And it's plain and simple. That's that's just how life goes. You know, way back in the times, different um, sectors of ethnicities did things different ways. They wore things different ways and all of these different things. Different nationalities, I should say. Did things different ways. Same thing when you come into your spirituality. Whatever it is that you may be practicing. If it's witchcraft, hoodoo, voodoo. Um, just spirituality, Wiccan, anything. It's still your choice on what you do. It's still your choice on what you do. So we truly need to get out of that way of thinking um, that anything out of the religions that we've been raised on, Christianity mostly, I'm going to just say Christianity mostly, that's the only way to be because that's not the only way to be. And as a matter of fact, that's not the original way we were. Everybody knows that now. Even the Christians will <laughs> admit to that. They know that that's not the original way that we were. Um, but we claim that. That's another way of having us to think small, to keep us boxed in, to keep us from evolving. And... If you really, really think about it, how Christianity is based now, it keeps you dormant. It keeps you at a certain level and a certain level only. It will not allow you to go above and beyond. It will not allow you. It keeps you, okay, you may go be able to go to number 10, but you're not going above number 10. Not all Christianity people are like that, but this is what Christianity is teaching. Now, you do have a lot of Christians that were born with gifts and vision, you know, the gift of vision and, and insight and sight and all of that. Yes, you do. Those are the exceptions. But those who were not born with that gift naturally, you are boxed in. You are shut down at a certain level. You are taught that anything above this is not real. You shouldn't do it. If you do, you a devil worshiper or you need to be cleansed or whatever, whatever, however it goes. Um, in Islam too, in most religions, I'm just going to say that that's how it is. That's why I do not claim any religion, any man-made religion. I do not claim it. I never was really comfortable with that. It was just too many since I was little. It was too many un- answered questions it was too many this does not add up um it just it was just too many and I always had that inner feeling of something's missing and it was and it is <laughs> so I just wanted to get on here and share that share this quick message with you all guys um again please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell. I have a lot of different things that I will be sharing with you guys from a normal person's. <laughs> no, I'm not going to claim that I'm normal because nothing's normal about me. I'm not normal. From my everyday experiences, I will be, whoa, shaky over this road, right? I will be sharing with you guys, um, keeping it real not faking it to make it just keeping it real also know that i will be sharing fitness things and health care things and skin care things and um, hair care things and all sorts of things i will be sharing if i feel that it will benefit you in some way i will be sharing it also guys check out my website i am going to put it in the description i'm going to put a few things in the description so you guys can stay abreast of what it is that I do, what I'm about. And you'll, you'll come to have more of an understanding um, of what it is I'm about by me doing that. So guys, it's a beautiful, blessed morning. Let's keep it that way. Bye, y'all.